Hello, Ido, Seth, Mike, Anthony, and in the Indie Conversation. I can't believe it has been 10 years since you guys have started this channel and been conversing. Uh, there's been some quiet times for sure, but this new surge seems pretty promising and I would definitely like to do my part in trying to keep conversing. Um, Seth had asked what has changed in our lives in those 10 years and I've got to say a lot. A lot has changed in my life in those 10 years. So 10 years ago I was watching this channel. I wanted to be an indie game developer. I wanted to make money from my own games. Um, I had been making games at that point for a pretty good while. I started in high school, worked through college, and uh, I was already in the game industry when this channel started and I began watching it. Um, so that's what I was doing. I was basically doing exactly what Anthony described, hopping from job to job in the game industry, going wherever it required me to. Uh, if somebody wanted me to move to Florida, that's where I was moving. If somebody wanted me to move to Iowa, that's where I went, Massachusetts. I moved several times in the five years that I was in the game industry and eventually I got into software. Um, getting into software gave me a stable enough position that I was able to actually pay off all the student loan debt that I had and begin creating a runway uh, for an indie adventure. I began streaming my adventure about four years ago and in that time I continued saving and I was also, I still had my job and you know, working that well while doing my adventure in my own games. I released my first game for a dollar in uh, February 2018. That's something that I had been trying to do basically since 2010 when Ludum Dare created the October Challenge. Um, it might have even been 2009, I'm not sure exactly which year, but basically around that time. Um, I had always wanted to do that and finally in 2018 I got a game complete, pushed it out, and sold a few copies. Like, that was a big step. It is really a big step. It, it wasn't a great game. It was actually kind of garbage, really, but some people had fun with it. Um, it's not polished on the edges, that's the garbage part. And I learned a lot from it. I went through the whole cycle. It was all me. That was nobody else's decisions, nobody else telling me how to make it or what they wanted to see in it. It was just me. And so I continued doing that, uh, waking up 6 in the morning to work from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. before my job. And then I'd go work my job and um, repeat until four years, basically. And very recently, in the last several months, Life has thrown me a couple very difficult curveballs. Um, and with that, I've made the decision to become a full-time indie game developer. That's where I'm heading now. I've got a runway of about three, maybe four years saved up. And I'm terrified. I'm, I've always wanted this. I've wanted this for like so long that it's hard to even express that. I've been working for it for a very long time. So in, in the uh, realm of games and programming and such, not much has changed too much in my life, but I am finally, this week is my first week really, um, a full-time indie game developer. And 10 years ago, I was just watching this channel, wanting to be. So you can do it. <laughs> just. If you do do it, uh, make sure you know what you're getting into. I'm terrified and I have three to four years of savings. Um, I'm anxious about how I'm going to be paying the bills in the future. And I'm anxious about spending the savings. I don't know why, because that's the purpose of the savings. Like this is, that's, that savings account was meant for this. And yet I'm anxious to spend that money. Um, I mean, I guess in a, Good, in some sense, that's a good thing to ensure that what I spend it on is actually uh, 
important enough to spend money on, but... But, yeah. I'm also starting a new project. Um, I have looked back at my track record in the last four years. I released Archer for a dollar, as I was talking about, and I've released Accelerate on Steam for, I think it's $7.99. Um, that game actually has a lot of fun. You drive a car around with an egg, and you try to keep the egg from falling out of the basket. But it is... I have a track record of putting projects on hold. Uh, the project after Rally, uh, the project after Archer got put on hold after eight months of working. I figured it was just too time consuming to actually finish it and it was not a good business decision. What's actually hilarious is a new opportunity might be coming. It's kind of top secret. And I think that changes the game there. I actually am going to be working on Rally of Rockets again, despite previously putting it on hold. Um, I found ways to take some developer shortcuts and make it a little bit easier, less effort, less time, as well as this opportunity reduces some risk and probably increases return of investment. So I'm hoping that's going to be good for me. If you guys that have been doing this for longer than me have any advice, I'm all ears. Um, but yeah, so for me a lot has changed. Until later, have a good one.